you are welcome to White Throne Ministries Daily Audio Devotion. This is your servant, Pastor Ifa Afri. Today, our devotion is captioned The Pain of Circumcision. Abraham, who is the father of Israel, was commanded by God in Genesis chapter 17, verse 11 and 12 to circumcise himself and also to circumcise all male children who were eight days old. This served as a covenant between God and the people of Israel. Circumcision is a painful process since it is a surgical removal of the male foreskin. According to Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, anyone who is of Christ is Abraham's seed. This means that every person who has a connection with Christ, who believes in Christ, is an Israelite and hence needs to be circumcised. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 16 tells us that we are to circumcise the foreskin of our hearts. Circumcision of the heart is a difficult and painful process since it is a process through which every cherished sin, every sin which you are so much entangled into is removed from the heart. Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith, calls upon us to allow him to circumcise our heart. This cherished sin can be any works of the flesh which are evident, and they are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contention, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambition, dissension, heresy, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and anything which is in the likeness of this form. These are some of the sins which are hidden in the heart, which is uncircumcised. As it is said, the heart is desperately wicked, and no one can understand it. This is the reason why Christ knocks on the door of your heart to allow him to circumcise your heart. This process is a painful process, but it is necessary for the salvation of every Christian. Christ promises us that if we will allow him, he will take the heart of stone, the stony heart which is so rebellious to his word, and put into us a heart of flesh. He will give you a heart which is susceptible to the influence of the Holy Spirit, a heart which can respond to the warnings of the Holy Spirit, so that you will do according to the will of God. This transformed heart will let you become a new creature. And as the scripture says, anyone who comes into Christ becomes a new creature. You may be addicted to a particular sin, maybe not even among the list of sins which I mentioned, but rather you can be addicted to masturbation or even smoking, drinking or anything which does not please God. This might, might even be your secret life which no one knows. But remember that God knows, and you know deep in you, that should Christ appear the second time, because of this sin, you cannot be with him. You may be battling so much, and you may be facing so much difficulty just to overcome this evil. But with your own strength, you cannot do it. With your own power, you cannot do it. You must rely on someone who has done it before, and that person is Christ. He was tempted in many ways, but without sin. This is the man who is knocking on the door of your heart. Will you allow him in? Today, he calls upon you. If this is your earnest plea, if this is your earnest desire, why don't you make the words of Psalm 51 verse 10 your prayer? Create in me a clean heart and put in me a steadfast spirit. This should be the prayer of anyone who is earnestly seeking for God to circumcise his or her heart. Today, may God bless you as you pray earnestly and take bold steps to allow Christ to circumcise your heart. Keep shining for King Jesus. We believe you've been blessed through this devotion. If you desire more of such spiritually uplifting content, we encourage you to subscribe to the White Throne Ministries YouTube channel, Facebook page and the WhatsApp broadcast line, which is plus two three three two four three one zero five two eight seven. If I impressed to support this international gospel outreach week, you can send us your donation through our mobile money account, which is 
0541-322-986. May the Lord richly bless you and keep shining for King Jesus. Maranatha.